Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 NFL Draft Class, specifically defensive end slash 3-4 outside linebacker, edge rusher, Harold Landry out of Boston College. Uh, so we're going to get into his analytics profile. We're going to look at his production data. Uh, we're going to look at his athleticism data. We're going to give a comp for him. Uh, so we're a data comp. So a guy that's very similar to him based on data, based on his production, based on his athleticism data. And then just give a general view about how good he could potentially be based on data in the future. Um, if you're new to the channel and you're new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. But with all that stuff out of the way, let's get to Harold Landry's profile. So first off, when you look at his production data, uh, he had a 80.04 explosive or by, uh, solo tackle uh, market share score. Uh, he had an 85.55 uh, sack score and a, and a 80.92 tackle for loss score. And when you look at the data since uh, the 1989 class, at least when it comes to market share data, uh, he pretty much hits all the thresholds for an all-pro player, at least the bottom end thresholds of that position. But when you actually look at him compared to the average scores of all-pro players, he kind of misses the mark in terms of solo tackle, sack, and TFO data. Um, Landry, in many ways, has more in common with a Pro Bowl player based on his data than an all-pro player. And there's nothing wrong with that in terms of his production profile, but it is something to think about when you're talking about valuing him in this particular draft class that his ceiling is not sky high. It's pretty high, but it's just not top five level high, if that makes any sense in terms of the overall uh, ideas of, uh, of, uh, of draft value and that sort of thing. Um, then, of course, you look at his athleticism data. Uh, he had a 77.09 explosive lower body strength score, 86.40 speed score, and a 97.34 flexibility score. Where he misses the mark in terms of his production data being uh above the average in terms of all pro players his athleticism data does kind of fit the bill more so in terms of that particular area uh so again uh, above the bottom and threshold in terms of explosiveness above the bottom and threshold in terms of speed and above the bottom and threshold in terms of balance for his size and when you look at the averages at the position um, he definitely is within range of the all, of the averages of an all-pro player and, of course, the averages of a Pro Bowl player in terms of his athleticism data. So very, very strong athlete uh, in terms of his overall data, but definitely kind of misses the mark. And just a couple little things here and there. Again, Harold Landry is not a perfect edge prospect by a stretch, but definitely is a very, very, very good edge prospect. Uh, you know, he's a guy that is not necessarily a two-percenter, like a – like a generational talent, but definitely a very, very, very good talent in the grand scheme of things. In terms of a comp for him, so a data comp, uh, the best guy I could find uh, was Jerry Hughes. Uh, Jerry Hughes, of course, who came out of TCU, uh, currently on the Buffalo Bills. Uh, when you look at Jerry Hughes in terms of his production data, very similar uh, to Harold Landry in terms of solo tackle, sack, and TFL data. Uh, when you look at his athleticism data, very similar as well in terms of explosiveness, in terms of speed and in terms of flexibility. Um, I'm not going to say that Jerry Hughes and Harold Landry are twins, but from a data perspective, they're very, very close to being twins. Uh, and not only that, you look at Jerry Hughes in terms of his size profile and, uh, and, and those other sort of things. You know, Jerry Hughes is about six foot two, 250 plus pounds. Harold Landry is about six foot two, 250 plus pounds. So, so by far, this is the best sort of data comp that I could possibly come up with. Um, so I think Harold Landry just has that type of potential, a Jerry Hughes level edge rusher. Uh, this doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to have the same career as Jerry Hughes. You know, Jerry Hughes, Hughes was a guy that kind of struggled a little bit early on in his career and then kind of found his footing a little bit later. But that definitely is the sort of projection. I think Harold Landry has the potential to be a multiple Pro Bowl edge rusher from this draft class. I think if you were to ask me, does he have more potential to be a better edge rusher at the NFL level than Bradley Chubb? I would say yes. Uh, I would say that when you look at the flexibility testing that uh, Harold Landry has, Landry does have the potential to be a better long-term player than Chubb uh, in terms of how high quality his career could be. There definitely are some injury concerns and some other sort of things that could shorten his career that would make Chubb have the better sort of longevity. But uh, I think when you look at his overall data, it's easy to see 
why Landry would be the best edge rusher in this draft class based on data. Um, so that is one thing. If, if you're a guy who just is a real believer in data, a real believer in analytics, Landry is that guy in this particular draft class. He's by far the best edge rusher in this class just based on data. So um, that doesn't mean that you should leave film out of it, but that's just what the data says at this point. So um, if your team drafts Harold Landry, I think it's a very good shot. He, he becomes a uh, successful player. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gymmetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.